Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel where I help you heal from narcissistic, abusive, and toxic relationships. Hello, my name is Denise Dominguez. Oh, excuse me. It's not Dominguez anymore. I just got married. It is Kavaluskis. I really got to get used to saying my new name. Um, it's brand new, <clears throat> just a little over a month. And I'm still working through that, guys. I'm still working through that. But anyway, I am so excited to bring this topic to you. Again, I'm answering your questions. So in my Facebook group, Life After Narcissism, and I'll post the link in the comments, not in the comments, in the description below. Um, when somebody enters into my group, I ask questions, or I ask them, what do you wanna know? And so one of the questions was, how do I co-parent with a narcissist? And that's what I'm going to address and answer for you in this video today. Again, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you find any value in any of my videos, please smash that like button. And if you wanna hear more about what I talk about, what I share about, and how I help you heal from narcissistic relationships, subscribe, comment. It really helps the channel grow and I get to reach more and more women and men. Okay, so this is such a great question because there's so many people out there that have children with these narcissistic ex-husbands, ex-wives, and they're, they're, they're stuck. I mean, you're stuck with this person until your, your youngest child is 18. So this is a really tough situation to be in. So I first want to say how courageous you are for leaving that relationship and standing in your power and knowing that you deserve more. And that's beautiful and great. And now you're in the phase of, okay, I've, I've done that part. Now, now I got to co-parent with this for the rest of, you know, not the rest of your life, but for the rest of your kid's life at least, right? So two things, everything about this situation is how you respond to your ex. Because there's no, you have no control over what your ex does. I know. And you have no control over the way your kid is going to turn out. I know that. I know. What you do have control over, though, is the way you respond to his or her um, toxic behavior demands the way they are it's that's everything so what would it be like if you could be in a relaxed state of being with your ex what would it be like and what would it feel like if you had control of your emotions when it comes to your ex and what would it feel like if you were no longer triggered by your ex. So those are some great questions that you can write down and journal on. So the thing is, is that all of those that I just said, you really don't have any control over how he or she is, what they say to the kids. You have no control over how your child turns out. What you do have control over is you and being the best parent that you are. So how do you co-parent with a narcissist? You go within. You go within you so that you identify and heal these parts of you that are being triggered by your ex, right? So that you can be a better parent, co-parent in this really tough situation. Because no doubt, this is a tough situation. But in order for it to, for the pain to be alleviated, this is what you have to do, which is go within yourself and heal those triggers so that you no longer are, are so, mm, so this energy is not so intense, right? Like just seeing his name, his or her name, like oils your blood, really gets you going, right? That's, that's not fair to you to live like that. That's not fair to you to put your body in that fight or flight because what you're doing actually, think about it, is 
your body is still in fight or flight the way it was when you were married to that person. Now it's just shifted over from now him or her was your spouse and now they're the ex, but you have the children. So that truly is the only way that you can take care of this, that you can be the best co-parent. Um, because here's the thing about narcissistic toxic people. When you don't mm, respond to their, their whatever, they eventually get bored. They really do. They eventually get bored. My games aren't working. My tricks aren't working, which is the manipulation and control is not working. Um, I'm not getting a rise out of her. I'm not getting a rise out of him. So eventually they get bored and they move on. They find somebody else that they can, you know, manipulate and control and be mean to and, and all the things that they were doing to you, they will find somebody else to do it to. So I really hope that helps you kind of get some clarity on how do you co-parent with a narcissist. I know that you may have been looking for like step one, do this, step two, do this. Um, and anytime somebody gives those answers to somebody, I always think to myself, like, you're just, you're just, you're basically, you're doing what the pharma world does is you're just giving them a pill to alleviate the symptom. You're not getting to the core of what really needs to happen, what really needs to do, because they'll say, oh, you know, only communicate through email and all that. And that's all great advice, but you, even if you're communicating through email or text messaging, you're still being triggered by this person. Your body is still in that fight or flight with this person. You're still getting hurt, pissed off, mad, angry, because this person said this to your child or did this to your child without your permission or whatever. Um, and that's exactly what they want. That's exactly what they're looking for. So this answer is quite different than maybe what other people would share with you, but it is the core, it's getting to the core of things. I'm not sugarcoating anything for you. I'm not covering it up with, a, with um, just a symptom. I really wanna help you get to like the nitty gritty of things. So I would start with those questions that I asked in the beginning, write those questions down, and then just sit with yourself, sit in silence, um, and just see what comes up. Do pen to paper, that's very important. Pen to paper, don't type it out, don't put it on your phone. The reason why I say that is because pen to paper is so much more powerful for you than typing it out. Try it. I think I'm gonna give you three questions. So it's a great start, it's a great foundation. Um, and again, I will put the Facebook group link in the description below and my contact information. If you would like further support on this, deeper support on this, please reach out to me and let me know. Again, if you like this video, smash that like button. If you wanna know more um, about narcissistic people and how to handle them in relationships, subscribe to my channel. That is where you will get the information and I'm just gonna to continue to answer your questions. All right, my loves, have an amazing day. Bye.